Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. First orbital flight of SpaceX's Starship imminent. Skydrop obtains New Zealand approval for drone delivery hub. And Merlin to the autonomous flight system. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. First orbital flight of SpaceX's Starship imminent. The FAA has granted SpaceX final regulatory approval to carry out the first orbital flight test of the company's Starship Super Heavy Lift launch vehicle. The inaugural spaceflight may see the Starship SN24 prototype blasted spaceward atop SpaceX's Super Heavy Booster 7 later this week after a halted attempt on Monday. The mission will launch from SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. In a statement, the FAA set forth, quote, After a comprehensive license evaluation process, the FAA determined SpaceX met all safety, environmental, policy, payload, airspace integration, and financial responsibility requirements. The license is valid for five years, end quote. Currently, the forecast for the next launch window is favorable. For its debut launch, Starship will lift off from its Starbase pad but not attempt to land. Instead, the Super Heavy booster will separate about three minutes into flight and aim to splash down in the Gulf of Mexico. Starship, by dint of its six Raptor engines, will continue spaceward, reaching a velocity that will carry it around the world toward a targeted splashdown point in the central Pacific Ocean. The entire flight from liftoff to splashdown should span approximately 90 minutes. SpaceX's Starship is a remarkable machine, a 390-foot-tall behemoth with a payload capacity of 330,000 pounds to low-Earth orbit in its fully reusable configuration and 550,000 pounds to low-Earth orbit if fully expended. And after the break, VFS enjoys continuing growth in 2023. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minutes. VFS enjoys continuing growth in 2023. The Vertical Flight Society's membership has continued to expand by virtue primarily of explosive growth within the electric vertical takeoff and landing and military and civil rotorcraft sectors. In July 2022, the Vertical Flight Society comprised 176 member companies and organizations, 20 more than it numbered in July 2021. On March 31, 2023, VFS membership stood at 186 companies, a net growth of 10 companies, or 5.52%, over the last eight months, and nearly 60 companies over the past three years. Currently, the VFS boasts nearly 6,500 individual members. Airline complaints compel FAA to delay space launches. The FAA stated that it is inclined to intermittently delay space launches for purpose of minimizing disruption to commercial air travel and promoting what the agency referred to as equitable access to airspace in the vicinity of launch sites. Space launches, the frequency of which has increased by magnitude since the late 1990s, interfere occasionally with airline schedules and so much as spaceflight operations require the closure of airspace along launch vehicle trajectories. What's more, Florida's KSC lies near the southern terminus of the busy United States East Coast Air Travel Corridor. General Atomics flies MQ-20 UAS via LeoSatcom Datalink. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems has recently conducted live tactical air combat maneuvers utilizing artificial intelligence pilots to control a company-owned MQ-20 Avenger UAS. 
Collaborative maneuvers between human and AI pilots were conducted using General Atomics's live, virtual, constructive, collaborative combat aircraft ecosystem over a low-Earth orbit satellite communication provider's internet protocol-based mission beyond visual line-of-sight data link. The LEO SATCOM connection was also used to rapidly retrain and redeploy AI pilots while the MQ-20 was airborne, thereby demonstrating General Atomics's ability to update AI pilots within minutes. Lisa Atherton named Bell Helicopter President and CEO Textron announced that Lisa Atherton has been named President and CEO of the company's Bell subsidiary, effective April 28, 2023. Formerly Bell's Chief Operating Officer, Atherton will assume the company's presidency from Mitch Schneider, whose upcoming retirement occasions the conclusion of his distinguished 20-year career with Bell and successful seven-year stint as the company's President and CEO. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. SkyDrop obtains New Zealand approval for Drone Delivery Hub SkyDrop has obtained its Part 102 approval from the New Zealand CAA to launch the firm's first drone hub in Huntley, New Zealand. The new location will allow them to provide, quote, live store-to-door drone delivery, end quote, in the country, operating BV loss in a revenue-generating manner. SkyDrop is excited for the change, saying that the recent approval unlocks, quote, revenue-generating drone deliveries with a clear path to economic viability for SkyDrop and its customers, end quote. They added that the CAA's approval was particularly underpinned by the inclusion of their parachute recovery system on each delivery aircraft. Like many drone delivery operations, SkyDrop sees their services as an easy way to reliably provide speedy, cheap, and sustainable small parcel delivery for suburban and exurban populations. Matthew Sweeney, SkyDrop's founder and CEO, said, quote, SkyDrop is excited to work with the CAA to make New Zealand the innovation leader in speedier, cheaper, and greener last-mile drone delivery. This approval is a groundbreaking milestone for SkyDrop and the drone delivery industry. SkyDrop is set to launch regular drone deliveries to the nearly 10,000 people and businesses in Huntley. Tell us, what will you deliver? And if you want to be the next business or town in New Zealand with drone delivery, reach out to us at SkyDrop, end quote. And after these messages, Merlin to vet autonomous flight system. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Merlin to vet autonomous flight system. The FAA has awarded Merlin a $1 million contract for purpose of demonstrating the capabilities of its Merlin pilot product under the auspices of onboard safety pilots. Flight testing of the autonomous flight system will be conducted along three test routes, the entirety of which originate from the University of Alaska Fairbanks' FAA-designated UAS test site. The flights will be conducted in cooperation with Everett's Air Cargo. Dr. Kathy Cahill, director of the Alaska Center for Unmanned Aircraft Systems Integration at the University of Alaska Fairbanks Geophysical Institute, said, quote, Alaska's terrain and inclement weather can challenge the most experienced pilots, and yet remote communities rely on air cargo deliveries for vital supplies such as milk, mail, and medicine. Working with Merlin on these flight trials benefits our residents and provides data with each flight that will create not only a safer airspace in Alaska, but technology that is applicable worldwide, end quote. The Merlin pilot flight tests are slated to commence in 2023 second quarter and set out to reach underserved Alaskan regions, thereby enabling improved access to crucial supplies while reducing the safety risks ostensibly incurred by today's pilots. During initial testing, human safety pilots will monitor the experimental flight control system along routes from Fairbanks to Fort Yukon, Galena, Prudhoe Bay, Huslia, and Tanana, Alaska. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.